So I got a question from someone recently about how to close a shape when using a brush on her flat sketch. She couldn't do it, but there is a way to get this to work. There's a little step that most people don't use or don't even know about that will make this very simple. So first of all, thank you and shout out to Jacqueline for emailing and asking this question because it inspired this video. And she asked, how can I close a shape on a pair of jeans with a fringe hem? I tried using a fringe brush, but realized you can't close a path with a brush. And she's absolutely right. You can't close a path with a brush unless you want the brush applied to the entire object. So here's what you have to do to get this to work. Let's say I'm applying a fringe brush to the bottom of these jeans and I eventually need to fill the jeans with a color so for sure it has to be a closed shape. The first thing I'll do is create a line the same length as the hem of the pants and then apply the brush. Then use the white arrow to delete the current straight edge on the jeans flat sketch. From here, if you try to join the brush with the pants, it will add fringe to the whole sketch. So instead, you're going to expand the appearance of the brush. Select the brush and go to Object, Expand Appearance. This will change the brush from a straight line with a fringe brush applied to it to actual paths that are drawn as fringe. And now that the vectors are actually changed and not just a straight line with a brush or effect applied to it, you can join the fringed hemline to your flat sketch without it affecting the rest of the jeans drawing. Now, of course, the only downside to this is that if you need to change anything about the fringe, you'd have to either do it manually or create a new fringe brush and re-expand the appearance, which is what I usually do. But having done my share of fringed or raw edge hems or using brushes or effects that need to be applied to just a portion of my flat sketch and not the whole thing, I've had to do this process many times and actually I haven't had a lot of issues if I had to make any edits to an expanded brush. So don't get too hung up on that. Honestly, it's not that deep. Thanks for watching today's video. If you need to learn or learn more about drawing flat sketches in Illustrator or Illustrator for Fashion Design, make sure you check out the link in the description to take one of my classes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.